let's eat breakfast and chat really quick. So this semester in grad school, I wanted to take things a little bit easy and take, you know, fun classes and whatnot. I ended up talking to a few of my friends in the program and asked them what was like, you know, a good class that kind of meets that requirement of mine. And everyone said history of photography was awesome. All you had to do was kind of like write a paper or two for the class the whole semester. And it was pretty chill for the most part. So I was like, you know, not too bad in terms of workload. Of course I was wrong. So apparently it's my professor's last semester teaching this course and he's done giving essays because everyone was just plagiarizing all the time. So just my luck. He decided to give a research assignment every single week. It's a good length that we have to turn in every week. It's fine, it's not like a huge deal. Now at first I was like, that's a lot of work, but after completing my first research assignment, I realized what I had been missing out on. Quick pause, get some vitamin D. The weather's been so nice here lately. It's like perfect right now. Anyways, like what I was saying, there's a truck now, of course. Conveniently. You know, research is really important when it comes to art and turns out I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Looking at wrong artists and not understanding really what type of work I actually made. I came across an Audrey Flack documentary and it forever changed the way I view my art and research in general. From there on, it kind of opened up a path of different artists to look at and which ones to look for, which ones I could kind of relate to my art. And soon a whole new world of inspiration came into play with my, how do you say, creativity. Anyways, I've been filled with so many ideas that I just need to unleash this inner creative flow that I have going on. Oh God, just realized I forgot my coffee. Uh, gotta turn back. One second. When I tell you I ran, I literally ran. Something inside of me isn't afraid to try new things and fail at it. So that's what we're doing today. Trying something new. Airbrushing. And maybe a little bit of painting because your girl just can't not paint. So.
supposed to be paper. It's not looking like paper. Um, I think I'm doing too much of the little tiny detail. Yeah. So I'm gonna simplify the paper folds and kind of scratch this and start over. Yeah. I received a lot of uh, good feedback on yesterday's airbrush piece. I had a lot of fun with it too. So I think I might make more today. I'm really excited about it. And I'm really happy that I allowed my creativity to kind of come through and try something different for once other than painting. I feel like oftentimes we kind of get so caught up in the work that we're doing that we don't really stop and reflect on what we're actually doing and our process, whether it be artistic or just how we go about our day-to-day -day lives. Hello, Mitter. Look. Okay. Oh. Okay. We're gonna be continuing the... Airbrush. I literally, I couldn't think. It's still early in the morning. I'm still half asleep. Let's go paint more shadows. Right now I'm just gathering materials that I can airbrush on because I forgot this giant pad of paper that I have in my garage. I forgot it, I left it at home. So off to a great start. Luckily I have another giant paper this size. Um, and I also wanna cut this, like use a tear bar and just, you know, kind of thing. So we're gonna collect materials and tear the paper. I was even thinking of maybe using raw canvas because I have a lot of like weird sized pieces like this. This just keeps going. So I was thinking of maybe using that too. So this is also definitely an option, but I'm gonna stick to paper for now. All right, we might have to do this the old school way because I cannot seem to find my ruler anywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna fold it like super bootleg. I hope this is like where I should be folding it, right? Yeah, that's a good spot. Then we fold it again, and then we rip. Oh, okay. <gasps> no! I just ripped. Maybe I can like glue that or something. You know, you have to make sure it's really... Okay. Tripping again. Nice! Ta-da! Okay. Oh look, got another piece of paper. Throw that in the paper pile.
this picture. Why is this thing have no battery? So my camera died, but I made another little piece. This one's smaller, but I'm gonna add it to my collection. So we have this little one, the main one, star of the show. And then another one, which I also like. These are fun. I had a lot of fun doing them. So now we're gonna get back to painting and fix this. This ordeal that we have going on over here. Quick little piece update. Uh, I'm not happy about this. Um, it's supposed to be paper and she's looking freaking crazy. I think my issue that what's going on here is I need to make my shadows a little bit brighter. Yeah, so I'm gonna simplify the creases a little bit more and brighten up those shadows, give them a little, you know, face lift because they're doing a whole lot of nothing right now except ruining my painting. Thank you. 